Hello and welcome back to the Blade of Echo channel. You are watching Battlefield 1. In the last episode, we finished The Runner, uh, a story about um, an Australian um, who takes under his wing another Australian, uh, a kid who shouldn't even be in the war. Um, so we've now concluded that and we're on to Nothing is Written. Join, a Lor join Lawrence of Arabia in his desert campaign against the Ottoman Empire. Let's have at in it. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Well, there you go. Let's get into Hidden in Plain Sight. Al Ajda, Ajda, Mesopotamia, Spring 1918. The Great War engulfs the globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft and armoured vehicles engage rebel forces wielding rifles from horseback. T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces head-on. Instead, they must fight another way. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Nothing is written. In the desert, you rely on good planning. But you also hope for a dash of luck. Just a and dash. luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. Right, so a derailed train we need to investigate. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. Okay, that looks like I've got most of them. What are we doing now? Enter the rooftop hatch. Of what? A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. There's a guy just here, I didn't see him from the from the ledge. Powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Mm -hmm. Why am I not just crouching? I have to wait for this guy to 
do his thing. Come on, move on. Is he facing me or away? No, it's facing me. Right, maybe I can go this way. Don't you turn. Right, let's zoom down. Now we can get some weaponry. Oh, that looks that looks fun. Uh, but we want we want no keep 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 the knife. I could get on this thing now and just take out loads of them in one go. Fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. You didn't think I would come alone, did you? Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, hey, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you? How enchanting you are, my dear. Hmm? I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. That you know, and all that you love will be ashes. You will all be free to die. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh you animal! Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. <laughs> 
but think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Which we have. Oh, like this one, you mean. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. So, we're going to lure a train. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. Okay, so, recon any of the Ottoman strongholds, so, we've got some stuff to do here, but I'm going to leave this episode here, so, I hope you liked it, if you did, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe, don't forget to comment down below, let me know what you think about the Battlefield 1 campaign, and I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.